Hi, my name is Kyra, and these are the five things that, as an artist, I wish someone would have told me. Beware of people who harp on this idea of, you don't trust me. Now, I'm not saying go overboard and every time someone says, trust me, that that's an alarm, but someone who absolutely is irate, continuously badgering you because they feel you don't trust them, I would be very wary of that person. They usually are up to no good and are trying to hide that from you by guilting you into believing you did something wrong by questioning something that they did that was just suspect to you. You should never have a problem communicating uh, your ideas or what's going on with you and not have someone turn around and be angry and accuse you of not trusting them. This leads to number two, show me, don't tell me. I actually picked this up when I was a TV writer. We can get all caught up in the exposition of telling you what you should be seeing or feeling instead of showing you. Same thing as a person, as an artist who is dealing with people who are uh, promising them X, Y, and Z. Show me, don't tell me. Like really, show me, just do it. You don't have to explain and go into all these details of what you're going to do. And I've, I've seen that people like to be the, the savior. They like the feeling of saying, oh, I can, I can make that happen. I was working on a project and I needed a particular kind of help. And so this guy strapped on his superhero cape and was like, oh yeah, I got that. I totally have that for you. I got that, I got that. I can totally do that. Oh, I know this person. I know this person. I know this person. And we can totally get that done. Don't even worry about it. I was like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. And I think like there's that, that, that high, that adrenaline, when you feel someone is really happy about what you said and are like, oh my gosh, you're so awesome. Like that feeds them. But they weren't able to come through at all. And it was like stringing along, stringing along, stringing along and never delivered. And so I was like, wow, this leads me to number three, keep your mouth shut. When someone says something like, oh, I can do this for you. I can do that for you. Just keep that to yourself. Go along with your business, handle things that you're doing, but don't go tell other people for several reasons. Don't go tell other people everything that you're doing, especially if you don't have the product in front of you, because then you're explaining why something didn't happen after you've told people that this was gonna happen. But also your energy is very, very valuable. Your keeping things to yourself is, um, you don't need approval. You don't need someone going, oh my gosh, that's so cool. You know it's cool. Just know what you know, keep it moving, and just keep producing. And you don't have to tell anyone anything until it's time to tell them. You have to learn to wear your own CEO hat. You are the executive of you. And I know we love being the artist, we love being the creative, and that's amazing. But we need to, um, look at ourselves as a corporation. Like you need to give yourself orders, whether they're creative, whether they're administrative, you need to give yourself orders as the CEO. And then you need to be a really good employee and follow through and uh, deliver the product that you CEO is asking for. It actually is really powerful when you can differentiate the different hats that you wear as an artist. And when you're wearing that hat, you just do that thing. You're not like doing five other hats at the same time. When you're being your PR, you're being your PR. When you're being your executive, you're being your executive. When you're being your artist, you're being the artist. And um, it just puts a lot of order into my life and make, makes things so much easier to manage. And actually, it makes me really enjoy those things that I'm doing that aren't the artist part because I actually know what the product is that I'm going for. 
And if I was being the if I'm being the artist while trying to be uh, trying to do all my marketing, I might get like clouded and confused and discouraged because I haven't really uh, pinpointed what I'm doing and why I'm doing it as that hat. Number five, I flow power to those who I know will contribute to creating a better world with their power.